In this video, we're going to tackle a subject that can help or hinder your customers from seeing things clearly. That's right, we're taking a swipe at windshield wipers, but we're going to dive a bit deeper than the wiper blades themselves. As with so many of the systems on a vehicle, the windshield wiping system is no stranger to upgrades and complexities. George J. Capewell of Hartford, Connecticut filed the first patent for wipers on August 6, 1896. The simple design allowed for a mechanical means of clearing the windshield. At its root, the activity is unchanged today. It's the manner in which we go about removing windshield dirt and debris that has become complicated. For starters, let's take a look at the components that make up a windshield wiper system. We have the wiper arms and blades, the transmission, the motor, and a switch. Obviously, replacement blades is where you'll get most of the selling action on the parts counter. Most manufacturers recommend changing the wiper blades every 6 to 12 months or as needed to ensure the driver's safety. Replacement is easy, and you should be able to assist your DIY customers with ease. Just be careful of all the different attaching methods that blades use. You may need a special adapter in some cases. Next are the wiper arms. These get changed less frequently, and they continue to function through many sets of blades. The exception, of course, is if they get bent. Attachment of these is fairly straightforward, but they can be tricky to remove due to corrosion. Some use a nut with a cap, while others use a clip that must be released. The arms are splined to the shafts and fit very tightly. You'll likely need a puller to remove them. This is an additional tool for you to sell to your DIY customers. Additionally, be sure to offer them some anti-seize for replacing the arms so it will remove easier the next time. Next up in the system is the transmission. No, we're not talking about that transmission. The transmission we're talking about is a series of arms and joints that allow the arms to articulate around a single point. That point is where the motor attaches. These transmissions are usually serviced with and without the motor. Once the joints are worn, it's time to replace them. In many cases, the motor is a two-speed electrical motor that's controlled via the switch assembly, usually on one of the column stocks. Between the motor and the column switch, there's a fuse and usually a relay or two. Depending on how many speeds there are, it could have a control module also. That covers the wipers, but what about the washers? These are activated by the same stock switch, but use a separate pump and reservoir to wash the glass. The pump may be mounted in the reservoir and serviced as a unit or separately. The last part of the system is the hoses and the nozzles. Both are known to fail over time and are available through numerous suppliers. Here's the bottom line. While wiper blades will provide most of the action of the parts counter, the wipers are just one element of a system that includes other parts that might need to be replaced from time to time. I'm Josh Cable. Thanks for watching.